What is going on everybody, it's Steven here and welcome to a quick routing tutorial on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Now this method here doesn't trigger your NOX counter so that's really good and I got my new S6 Edge yesterday and I cannot live without root access and also I hate that touch with ROM. I need to get a new ROM but currently um, for the S6 Edge we don't have a custom recovery and ROM so I guess next week, next weeks we'll have some and I'll bring you some tutorials on how to install a custom recovery and a custom ROM. But today we'll just do the routing tutorial. As I've said before it doesn't trigger NOX so that's pretty good. We still don't know um, if you have a warranty case and you go there with a triggered NOX. Maybe they refuse you, I don't know but yeah um, just for safety reasons we don't trigger it with that. Now the routing process is actually very easy, um, it just works like from a root, so you install a app on your smartphone and then you just launch the app, you go to root and boom it's rooted. So for that you need your smartphone, a USB cable and a computer. Now actually it's possible to do it without a computer, so you can just download the zip file on your smartphone and then just extract it and install the APK file. But I think for the most people it's easier to do it on the computer and then just copy it to your smartphone and that's why we will do it on the computer. Okay guys then I would say let's get directly started and let's jump into the routing process. Alrighty guys, we're now here on the computer and now let me show you what you have to download and what you have to do to get your phone rooted. Okay, so we need the pingpongroot.apk file. Link down below in the description, so just make sure you click it and this redirects you to xdaydevelopers.com. Great website, great forum, most of you guys will know it. And here we can see the thread of pingpongroot. Now yeah, um, that ping pong root thing here is made by the Keen team and pretty good job guys because it really doesn't trigger the NOX counter and it really worked for me so that's a good thing. Now um, here you can see the thread and the first post and at the end of the first post, so just right over here at the bottom, you can find the download. So here we have the attachments and yeah we have two attachments but we actually just need um, the party better for because this is the ping pong root.apk file. <clears throat> now the other thing is SuperSU. So that ping pong root thing here installs King user on your smartphone. Now King user, yeah, some people say it's bad, it's malware, also some um, antivirus um, apps, they just um, scan it and then they say it's malware. But yeah, it's a false positive, so it says root chain or something. Don't worry guys, I have um, King user on a lot of smartphones and really it works great. But if you want to replace it, um, I don't know why, then you can do that. So you can replace it with SuperSU and that's the second sip here. But if you um not familiar with this, so you have to use ADB in order to push um, SuperSU and BusyBox to your smartphone and then you have to mount and remount your system. So it's a bit complicated, but we can cover this in the next video. Anyway, um, King user is not something bad, so it won't hurt your smartphone and also this routing process here doesn't trigger the NOX counter, which is really great. As you can see here, yeah, no, it doesn't require Odin to flash a custom recovery, so the warranty bit will remain intact. That's very good. Now support the devices. So this root method here is actually just for the S6 and the S6 Edge as you can see. But um, there are also different ROM versions because we know we have different providers, different brandings, different countries and I for instance have here the AOCW because I'm from Austria. And yeah, what you can see here is that it's actually not supported or coming in the next release. But yeah, um, it worked pretty good for me so you can just try it. If it doesn't work, um, it will say not rooted or something, but for me it worked really great, so yeah, don't chase yourself. Just download it and try it, you won't hurt your device. But yeah, um, as always, I'm not responsible for any damage, you can also find it somewhere right over here. Okay, support the devices right over here and also with different ROM versions. To check your ROM version, you just have to go to settings and about the phone and then you can see on the build number here um, which ROM version you actually have. Okay, so you just download here um, that um, party beta 4.7zip file. Now yeah, I'm 7zip, so what you need to unzip it is the program 7zip because it's not a normal zip file, it's a 7zip. Oh my god, I have this shitty search thing here, I need to remove that. But yeah, you can download it from 7zip.org and make sure for 32-bit systems you download that one here and for 64-bit that one here. Okay, then just install that and once you have 7-zip installed, you can just right click the party better for 7-zip file, which should be somewhere on your desktop or in your download folder. And then you just go here to 7-zip and extract here. So sorry, this is currently in German, but yeah, you should just go here to 7-zip extract here. And what you get is here the pingpongroot.apk file. That's actually all we need. 
So what I will do now is um, I just connect my smartphone, so my S6 to the computer. Make sure you choose media device so you can copy stuff onto it. And you can see Galaxy S6 Edge, so there we go. Let's open it up. And you just copy that APK file here to the root of your smartphone because um, it's the easiest way to find it, okay? So you just take it and drag and drop it into the root. So here I'm um, in phone storage. Just copy it in there. And there we go. So it's actually now on our smartphone. And all we have to do now is just go to the smartphone. So we disconnect it from the computer. And now we have to go to the smartphone and install that APK file. And then we can gain root access. So we're now here on the Galaxy S6 Edge. And now let me show you how to root it. Now you should have the APK file already on your smartphone. But now you have to install it. Now in order to do that, you need the app ES File Explorer because we have to browse the app with the Explorer and then we can install it with that. But yeah, you can download it from the Google Play Store. Just um, enter it and then just search for ES File Explorer. The next thing is you have to go to security and wow, we have so many settings in here, but security should be right over here. Here, make sure that you tick or actually activate unknown sources. Because the APK is not from the Play Store, so it's actually an unknown source. And in order to install it, you have to activate that here. Now you can also go here um, to the bottom and go to About Device. And here you can see Baseband Version and Build Number. So the Baseband Version is actually the thing you can see on XDA. And make sure your phone is compatible. But actually you can just try it um, even if it's not compatible, so listed as not compatible. It may work anyway, but it won't damage your smartphone. The next step is to start the ES File Explorer and it should automatically redirect you to your SD card, so actually the internal SD card, because that's the only thing you can access without root access. And in the root, you should now find the Ping Pong Beta 4 APK. Now it looks like this, and just tab it, it and then you can see that pop up here, and here choose Install. Very important, and here make sure you hit Install again. If you can see something like Unknown Sources, then you haven't ticked Unknown Sources, and you have to do it again. Okay, now you just go here to Open, and you're now here in the Ping Pong Root app. Very easy, you just have to go to download data to update the app here and now you have the device data updated and now you can try to get root by just tapping here at get root. Now this can take up to one, two minutes, three minutes. Just be patient, grab yourself a coffee or something. Oh wow, that's new. It's rebooting. So I think it was not successful this time. But if the tool is not successful in any way, then um, just rerun the tool. Just do it again and after the second or third try, you will have it rooted. Okay, so there we go, it's booting now. Nice Samsung boot animation. Well, so there we are. Sorry for the cut, but it took some time to boot. And now we can just rerun the ping pong root application. Now just tap at get root again if it was not successful. And then just wait a bit, one or two minutes, and then you will get a message like root was successful or something. Always wait for that message here. Do nothing now. Don't close the app, just wait a bit. Well, this can take some time, but um, if it takes time, then it will maybe be successful. Oh, come on, now it gets boring. Okay, um, root done. It is recommended to reboot your device now. I don't want to do this right now because I don't have any time, but I will quickly now show you the King Use application. When the root was successful, you should have here um, on the apps the King Use app. It's just the same like Super User, just a bit different. It also handles your permissions. And um, yeah, you can replace King user with SuperSU. So you can replace it with ADB. You can just download it from the Google Play Store, give it permissions, deactivate King user. There are actually many ways. But yeah, um, I will just stick with King user because I will switch the ROM anyway very soon. Okay, so this was my routing tutorial. Stay tuned for a custom ROM and a custom recovery tutorial, which will come soon when we have the first compiled ones. And yeah, the S6 Edge, it's really awesome. Very nice build quality and I cannot wait to remove fucking TouchWiz because I really hate it and TouchWiz absolutely sucks. Okay, thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye-bye.